And so let's talk people plotting on your downfall and what I like to call a mild crime. And what I mean by a mild crime or a medium crime is that it's a crime that's not necessarily committed to actually, um, it's a crime actually committed to benefit both parties in a sense. I'm being optimistic when I say this. Like, you know, the typical situation where people grow up in an area that's crime infested, they call it the hood. And they'll be like, your older cousin will have sex with you and be like, I'm doing this for your own good. Because in reality, one day you may be walking up and down the street and people might view you as a prostitute. Or you might be having a guy that is a pimp that wants to force you into sexual coercion. These are This is the reality of the nature of human existence. So what I'm saying is... The reason why I'm calling it a mild crime is because, you know, when you do actually survive or endure crimes like this, you are building tough skin to people, but I ain't no such thing as tough skin. You stress. You either stress or you don't. It's all about connotations. That's why the most people in this world have religion that they use. They have faith. They go to God, they read the Bible, they learn lessons from the Bible, they go to Allah, whoever, and they say, well... It's up to my higher power to help me feel at peace with myself. If a, a higher power makes you feel at peace with yourself, good. But if you have enough intellectual knowledge to know other things, that's also good. There's also some concept that I was reading called socialism. Some I don't know. I forgot the name, but how the word is pronounced. But the more you study words, the more... You know what I'm saying? You can justify a lot of things that's going on with you on a mental level. So I've um, got some playlists saved with neuroscience and all that stuff because in essence, you being an intellect and having an intellectual identity, you pretty much are, you know, susceptible to endure things against your own will and you pretty much can um, become a somewhat pessimistic and you have to use your intellectual identity identity to talk yourself out of feeling negative that's what people want to know well even if if you're having a negative day somebody doing something wrong to you you get disrespected how are you going to handle it you know what i'm saying the fact of the matter is people will try you up and it's up to you to be a good or bad person i don't give a fuck how good of a person you is people are still going to treat you like shit you know what I'm saying? Everybody can't be at peace with themselves. I know because people have plotted on my downfall. It's a given. It's just like being a male versus being a female. A lot of these men, these males, want to, they have a, they have an stigmas that come with their identity. There are things that they're known for. Well, I think that, you know what I'm saying, nine times out of ten, if a big 18-wheeler is coming up, there's probably some man with big muscles that actually, you know what I'm saying, has confidence. I mean, but it don't have to be a man. It could be a skinny nigga. You know what I'm saying? It's all about having confidence. So the men and males in my life, you know what I'm saying, the whole, um, what's it called? Idea of being an extremist is what I'm dealing with. I got, you know... People that's like, well, I'm going to show you, you know, I'm going to call them church predators. Let's teach these women how to be feminine. Depending on the setup of your life, there may not be a feminine or masculine essence about your soul. If you get punched in your face, it is going to cause, depending on, you know what I'm saying, how, you know, good your body heals, it is going to you know what I'm saying, leave a mark, a scar, or some sort of um, stressor, stress left on your skin. So, in essence, people will think this, that, and the third about you. So, you know, me not having a clear subconscious, I'm having to go to work, and I'm actually um, getting, I want to say blessed, because I'm tired of using that word, and that's why I say, if you are a sinner, I understand that, you know what I'm saying, from, you know, people that read the Bible and go to church and stuff. If you are a sinner, there is no way you can sit here and identify yourself as, um, you know, walking in God's will. But they'll say, well, rededicate your life. I don't care 
how much you talk about God. If you have bad experiences growing up, getting raped in churches and all that stuff, there is no possible way you can sit here and play with God. You either like God, love God, or you don't. So I got a lot of holy roller people. It's a lot of typical people that really are a bunch of hypocrites that go around and preach God's word. Now, you can appreciate the fact that they know that and they're trying to prove or that they are a person of morality. But in essence, that's not going to just be, that's not going to work. You know, so I got a lot of people in my life that ring in my head and I'm like, I'm sorry about the fate of your life leading you to this. A lot of people be like, well, I'm just going to dedicate my life to God for the rest of my life because nobody... You know what I'm saying? It's fucking with me, but this higher power is all I got. But you got to be an intellect. Just like, I'm like, I'm a black woman. And I've got somewhat of a schizophrenic effect because of just thinking about a lot of things. Thinking about the femininity of a woman. Think about the masculinity of a woman. And vice versa, of a man. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, you know, sexuality is what I reject. And, you know, I pretty much have a schizophrenic effect on my brain from people that has actually had sex with me. And I'm like, that's why it's traumatizing, because it shouldn't have never happened. And then they will sit there and, you know, throw little words out and try to justify it. And that's what I mean about this whole pimp culture thing. I was at the, um, in the bathroom in um, the country in suites or whatever the fuck this hotel room is, you know, in front of the Walmart, and I'm like, there's a number for human trafficking line, and I'm like, I'm going to call it to see if people just be calling and talking about, well, it's probably somebody that, you know, you could call that'll probably get you a room or so, or you feel like you're stuck in a situation if they feel guilty or if they feel confidence in your voice that you're being honest with, you know, dealing with certain types of things or certain types of you know, situations with human trafficking, they'll get you a room or they'll find you a safe place. Hopefully that's what it is. Or maybe it's just a free conversational detox. But what I'm saying is everybody does not have that identity. You know what I'm saying? That intellectual, or they don't have that, that, that type of, you know what I'm saying? Nature going on in their, um, that type of nature of people in their life that are sitting there trying to make them look bad because that's all it is. When men, you know what I'm saying, when there when they're males that are on that rape shit because they want to feel superior to a woman and be like, well, I really want manhood to be solid in this motherfucker. And this really, they're really trying to make it an intellectual identity that I'm doing this because of that. A lot of people were smart Alex in my life, and I'm like, at the end of the day, they were sitting there. You know, I don't blame them for sitting there trying to be like, use my female identity against me and try to say, well, I think you're a man-hater and this, that, and the third. And, you know, she had too many emotional issues. She craved dick, and I want to make sure she feels some type of way for the rest of her life just because of that fact. But in reality, it really doesn't matter. I'm like, I don't understand how, um, you know, I don't know. I think there are um, people out here, women out here that are looking at it like that. They, everybody doesn't take the crime or rape seriously. Some people are just like, nah, you got tamed by a dick. You need to go ahead and just, you know what I'm saying, be viewed as this inferior, weak person. <laughs> I don't look at it like that. Somebody tried to convince me that. That's why I'm like, you really have to protect your ear and eye gates. When you have a child in this world, the first thing people can do is teach them things against their own will. And I think that's what happened with me. A lot of people was like, when you first came out, I told you that you was ugly. Or I told you there are people that really will plot on your downfall based on, you know, the facts of life. You know what I'm saying? When you are born into this world, you will learn how to use reverse psychology and all kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? You will read. There's some shit called dark psychology, ghostalism, some shit. I don't know. But, like I said, neuroscience, all that stuff is pretty much talking you out of being a pessimist. When I see my grandma take her heterosexual identity and cheat on her husband, you know what I'm saying? I, I think maybe it was a fun thing because you know how, you know, it is interacting, you know, the nigga mindset is real. I ain't saying that she was doing that shit 
But I'm just saying, like, when it comes to she, 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 she did what she did, but it's still a bit embarrassing. And I think that's what people are trying to What I'm trying to say is, you know, I didn't expect a man to like me. And it's not about liking you. It's about the fact that somebody trying to humiliate you and have superiority over you. And at the end of the day, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, I got locked up and I've been dumbed down by a bunch of people, personalities that really, you know what I'm saying, don't matter. When it comes to the paradigm of heterosexuality in my life, most people do have a very simple mind. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, there is no absolutely what no no absolute way if, you know, everything in your life is not positive and centered and it is, you know, what you what I view as dysfunctional, like you know, having sex at early ages and stuff, there's no possible way to have love. You know what I'm saying? That's why it's a lot of people out here that got street love and all this old bullshit, and it's really something to figure out. It's just something you live. It's loyalty. Every day I come home and you, even if I stick my dick in somebody else, but can you really value yourself once that happens? That's how a lot of human beings get insecurity instilled in them because... They're forced in situations against their own will. So, <laughs> when I was born, you know, I dealt with a lot of um, women that are, you know, now pessimists. I'm like, y'all sitting there going through all of that shit, and you got to sit here and do all this explaining to see if somebody will help you get, you know what I'm saying, some money. And that's what I'm saying. A lot of people in my life feel like they come from the ghetto and they want to stay stuck in that paradigm. I'm like, I'm sitting here realizing that there's people that really want to go around and hit nicks and really just be ghetto. I'm like, why pride yourself in being ghetto, especially these women? You're losing the essence of your femininity. I can't be feminine. You know what I'm saying? I don't care how you look at it. My identity as a whole, I'm a Southern belle. I grew up around, you know, very grandma-like personalities. There is no way that I can really have a certain type of essence about myself. So, you know what I'm saying? As long as you try, people will give you your little credit, but it's not about what people think. It's about what you think. You know what I'm saying? I know what I am. When I see, when I look in the mirror, you know what I'm saying? I see uh, a person that pretty much has been through stuff against their own will. I see my grandma. I see my mom. I'm like, They've decided to do all kind of outlandish shit just to survive. It's not about that. If you, you either can live or you can't, I could be homeless right now and I wouldn't give a damn. I have a mom and a dad. Just come get my clothes until I get my shit together. I sleep outside my job and take a wash up. It's simple as that. I'll spray disinfect it on my clothes and go on about my day. But people want to, you know what I'm saying, that's what they want you to prove. How much character and how much respect do you have from people that's how what these jobs are like i'm like i can't respect nobody i'm like i'm sitting here getting my downfall plotted on and i got my family members so-called family members i don't know who had the people in my life is because of the concept of being an inbreed but i'm like i don't know you know i will be left around people and they would just have sex with me so i'm like that is a situation where people were like, you're scoring. I'm like, I really don't know how to feel about that. And I'm like, so now they're like, okay, now that I got the girl feeling scorned, now let's plot on her down for all this whole. I'm like, all these men are pessimists. Ain't no man supposed to be no pessimist. That's why the rules for age limits are real. It wasn't supposed to happen in the first place. Half the women in my life think they're assertive. If you, we are, most of us women are being viewed as having attitudes. There's no way you can be assertive once, you know, you have others responding to you saying that. It's a difference between being assertive and having an attitude. Most people will, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I grew up getting molested and stuff kissed on by grown as adults, other cousins, and they really was out of control of themselves. And I'm like, and they really just wanted to, you know, fuck me up mentally so they would have an advantage over me. 
You can do stuff to people on purpose to make them reject you because that's exactly what happened. When a man sticks his penis in, in you, that's what he's trying to do. I'm trying to make you look bad. People going to view me as muscles than you. They going to view me as superior to you. People going to choose me over you. Motherfuckers going to respect my muscle, whether they like it or not. That's how the niggas just trying to prove. I'm like, I'm a female and I'm a certain type of essence. You know, I got a cousin named Eric, his mom. They come off a certain way. Some of these people have to get it out the muscle because people are going to judge you. I'm like, the way they come off, don't nobody want to, everybody don't embrace all that ghetto stuff. There are certain places you can't go, you can't be ghetto. And so I'm like, they were sitting there trying to teach me to speak Ebonics and all that, but I'm like, you sound trashy. That's why I can appreciate ghetto music because it gives a better tone to the voice of some of these people. You know, I'm just a person internalizing a lot of things. All these women are masculine to me because I'm thinking about manhood being a concept. And a lot of these, some of these men do actually work out a lot and pride themselves on actually, you know, building muscular structure to protect themselves and whatever family they may create, may or may not create. And I'm like, I'm looking at these women, and since manhood is a concept to me, I'm like, they're being emasculated by men and me. But some women are born in situations where they're emasculating themselves, and they just don't have that paradigm to where they are sitting there, you know, being um, reject, rejecting, you know, their gender identity because they've been tamed by manhood. I'm like, I really was born into a situation where people were sitting there doing stuff to me, and I'm like, I'll be seeing all these women. You know what I'm saying? I, when I think about the things that my older cousins and things were teaching me, they was doing all that shit because they really was plotting on my downfall as a whole. People are going to view you as a weak person because of a feminine, because of the concept of being feminine, because of the concept of being masculine. When I see women that are very flirtatious and whatnot, it don't make no sense to me. Because I'm like, once a man has sex with you and y'all are not in a sacred relationship, you don't have value. There's nothing quality, no, nothing about you that's valuable. You don't have no quality to you. You lose, you lose your innocence. That's exactly what happened to a lot of people when you read their spirit. When people say you got a bad spirit. I lost my innocence to males having sex with me. I can't value myself anymore. And then there's people out here that are going around using people for reverse psychological detoxes. You know what I'm saying? I be in these stores and you can read these charts and I'm like, you'll never know who a manager and who's not. You got to take initiative. Order your own shirt. Be your own manager. Do you know how to use computers? You know, I got somebody fixing the Xbox for me right now. I'm like, you must be a pretty smart person to be able to figure out something like that. That's how you make your money. That's how you increase your success rate. Word of mouth. You know, a person like that deserves a tip because they actually took time and applied knowledge and information and studied words enough and studied, you know what I'm saying? You can just take take things apart and put them back together and realize Okay, this works like this, that works like that, and you can make money off having people have a, a good day. I'm like, I'm going to have a good day if I get my Xbox 360 back and play my game. You know, I be seeing videos. I, I've been working at fast food of people that are um, fighting and things of that nature. And I'm like, I don't understand all the ghetto shit. I'm like, if... There are people really going through shit in the ghetto. There are people that actually are enjoying the ghetto and having a good time. But if you are actually going through stuff in the ghetto and you have negative energy surrounded by it, you might want to change our paradigm. Because like I'm, I'm one of those people that say, when I lived in Atlanta, I went to a, a ministry program and going to a restaurant like Maggiano's, it's like giving you a vibe of being in Italy. Things like that were a detox for me because everybody in my life pretty much wanted to represent the ghetto in a bad way. People want to be nasty. They want to fuck up shit, and it's an outrage. You know, kids are, you know what I'm saying, like they say, kids say the darndest things. Kids do the darndest things. That's what I think was happening. When kids are learning about history, the Rodney King movie, and people rioting and stuff, I think that's why people were starting gangs and stuff. We're going to fuck this whole neighborhood up because we didn't build it. Our pride is broken. But we're going to do it because we may not be able to get jobs unless 
create a job for these people that actually built this place. Why not appreciate the land? My mom was in property management, so I'm pretty sure to a certain degree it's an initiative of every human being walking this this earth to do something. I work at McDonald's in a Walmart, and I'm like, I don't understand for the life of me why there's not common courtesy for people to sit here and drop tissue all over the floor. Why do people do that? Now, don't get me wrong. There is that small moment where an unfocused person can be using the bathroom, and it just happens. But... In reality, I'm like, why are these bathrooms like this? I mean, certain people are just like that. I'm a queen. I shit on people's hand. I've heard, I've heard it's, it's, it's things like that. It's people that really are like that. Animalistic. I'm going to eat your shit. I love you so much, I'm going to eat your shit. You know, submission. But, yeah, I'm... Going older, and I'm like, I still regret my life as a female because I'm like, it's, it can definitely be a downfall for me. It's going to be hard to build confidence, you know, knowing that I contributed to a lot of successful, you know, rap careers with men and stuff. Manhood is really solid. It's really winning in this motherfucker, and I have to be very careful because I'm like, a lot of these young ladies, these women in my life are actually conform into the idea of, you know, having sex with men to gain notoriety and they're getting off on it. You know what I'm saying? There could be a man, even if you ain't, a, even if, you know what I'm saying? You could be a man, even if you ain't never did that, like construction or something, you can sit, you can go walk in the store and pretend to be like something. If you in shape and you work out, one will be like, I believe you, you're a construction worker. Go ahead and give him money for this, that, and the third. It's about being a stand up guy, taking initiative. So I don't know. I'm not sure how I feel as a woman that uh life has led me to actually be born a female and there's a role that I'm supposed to play and they're trying to force me into it. You can't force, you know, what you can't do. You can't you can't do what you can't do. I'm like I've been around a lot of people and I'm like you know, I got you got to take it slow, like John Legend, ordinary people. I'm like, I see a lot of women that are built a certain way, and I'm like, I don't understand how you're going to get your respect, how you're going to make it in life, you know, being the way you are. But, you know, some women, there are women out here that are Muslim, and they, they really have to devalue their womanhood because of it. And I'm like, man, who got to respect this shit? <laughs> I've got people... I be, I be wondering the people that I've hung around just based off the nature of my life. I'm like, I wonder if a motherfucker pulling out a gun on somebody telling them to let me stay on the clock or something. All because they want to be viewed as a thoroughbred. All because they want to have superiority over somebody. It makes no sense. That's what they want to do. Well, I go around and I, I rob the bank and I actually got away with it. So I'm about to make people submit to me. Ain't nothing like having somebody submit to you willingly, not by force. Because that's how the pimp mindset is or whatever. Well, I I, I robbed a, a bank for $20 million. Where's the $20 million? People be trying to play mind games. <laughs> when I got out of jail with some girl that keeps sending me a damn friend request on goddamn Facebook, I'm like, I can tell that I'm about to go to a situation where I'm about to be raped. They told me to stay away from my grandma's house for 30 days. This is where maturity comes in. Intuitiveness comes in. Your intellectual capacity comes in. I'm like, all right, granddaddy. Uh, I told my dad, you need to pull up, let this girl suck your dick. I don't know who she is, what kind of what situation, what kind of situation going on, but I'm like, when I go in there, I'm pretty sure that this, that, and the third is going to happen. And I'm like, I'm tired of people using me for a reverse psychological detox because that's exactly what you're doing. They're sitting here trying to make women look weak emotionally. You know, that's what I think medically that's what they're doing. They're saying, well, I can I can assume as a male, when you get penetrated by a penis, there will be a sense of vulnerability that you will feel because it's a taming, you know, inferior, um, what you call it, submissive position. So let's plot on her emotional downfall and the fact that she's a girl and tell everybody that she's unstable-minded. People are breaking her pride. How mature can you be? 
let's give her an attitude or let's, you know, fuck her up emotionally so people will think this, that, and the third about her. I don't know how some people are more optimistic than others. It just depends on the level of support or lack of support that you have. Because sometimes you can just faint in a situation, and by the time after you be done fainting, you get up, you ain't got no choice. You know, some people develop apathetic emotions because of really just, you know, being stuck in a situation. It's like being hungry so long, and then by the time you get that meal, you don't even want to eat it. That's the type of mind, you know, set that I'm like in. I'm like, am. I'm trying to figure out how to balance out and keep feeling positive on a consistent basis. What? How can I pull brain stress off of my brain? You know, anybody. I'm working in a McDonald's at Walmart now. I'm like, anybody can be petty and be like, well. You smell like cheese or this, that, and the third. But I'm like, this is about a business. But see, when you're a male, it's different. And I say, if I was a man and I was, and I constructed a building, would I go? could I go in and be petty and be like, well, you need to be more in shape and do this? I'm like, a butch is something I'm not trying to be. An aggressive person is something I'm not trying to be. Being a female is very toxic for me. And I'm be looking at women. I'm like, women really be thinking they all that. We ain't nothing special in this motherfucker. I don't understand why women think they're special. Especially the ones that are stereotypical. Like in a bad way. You go around and you just have sex with men. And I'm like, it doesn't make any sense. You see me applying on our downfall. You did your part. But as long as you get to your money, I guess it really doesn't matter. But that's how people can do. Somebody can go rob a bank right now and go around in some kind of way, get access to a bag of weed and say, I'm a drug dealer and be like, that's my junkie. See, she about to go home. Hurry up and put a crack pipe in her house. People do shit like that. But when you are intuitive... And that's why I guess people like to plot on, you know, a person and teach morality to people. That's what you got to, that's how you're going to survive. I grew up in Atlanta and the most beautifulest area that I've been in was the Powder Springs area. In Lost Bouton, in a community called Lost Bouton. I've seen people submit you know, to me and my family members. And I'm like, you really want to be viewed as having good character. Are you having good character or are you really plotting on somebody's downfall willingly, willfully? Good character or doing something on purpose to humiliate somebody's family? There'll be people that'll be like, I actually am submissive to people. I actually have been humbled by life, and I know that I can have all this, and it can be taken away from me just like that. I'm aware of that, too. Okay, so when you take offense to you losing everything, what does that mean? Ain't nothing you can do about it. A person might be like, well, this person actually has seizures. It's all about how you talk. If you are taught to view yourself as an ugly person, when you come out your mind wound and somebody is preaching that in your head and your soul, that's what you're gonna you gotta you gotta figure out how to erase that at your subconscious. That's the type of things that I'm dealing with on a mental level. I'm internalizing things. I really am an empath. I'm looking at people and I'm like, I'm growing up and I'm like, I really am a mental person. And I'm sitting here like who am I? I be at these jobs and I'm like, the first thing they want to tell you is you need to do this, you need to do that. But everybody don't got the same mindset. You know, most women to me, when I look at them, I don't see femininity when I look at most women. I see emasculated women. And some women like it. Like, my, my nigga is the reason why I, I, I made gangs today. We did push up together. That's the type of relations to men that's okay. You know what I'm saying? You you are a woman, you're interacting with a man, and it's actually, you know what I'm saying, substantial. 
But like I've said, you know what I'm saying? It's it's heteronormity. I be wondering because I see women, a lot of women have attitudes and whatnot. And I'm like, I wonder if they really, you know, I wonder if they really are being appreciated or are they really just muscle? You'll never know because I'm like, a woman will have an attitude. I be seeing women that I got tough exteriors. I don't never view anybody as tough. I see, you know what I'm saying, beyond the bullshit. Most people, they cry so much till they can't cry no more, and then they develop this angry-looking nature. That's what it really be. And a person can tell that, you know what I'm saying? And I would give my job up to anybody that seems more happier than me any day because it makes sense. There are detoxes. I'm pretty sure, like, the Walmart I work in, there might be a person that'd be like, let me hire somebody that actually seems to have, you know, a better mental, you know what I'm saying, positive mindset, you know what I'm saying. They probably have been through stuff, but they're intellectual enough to not let it get to them and go around and detox people. So with all that being said, you know, I guess, you know, I kind of, like, feel like my pride is hurt with the Social Security check because the way that, you know, my mom responds, the way the typical situation, people like, yeah, I got my Social Security check, da, da, da. I mean, I be really pretending to, like, understand, like, this whole concept of being from the ghetto. I really don't like it. It doesn't make sense to me. Like I said, the concept of manhood. You know, some of these men, I thought they were judgmental, but I guess they're not. I think a male will understand from a medical perspective when you penetrate a woman's vagina that it's going to do something. You know, that's why they be rapping about it and shit, and they brag about it. <laughs> I mean, it's just all in who you are. Like I said, I'm, I'm opinionated when it comes to, you know, certain men. I'm like, you'll never know. I'm like, certain people just really don't look right. I'm like, you can tell. That's why they go to these rap concerts and they try to see who's really than the next person. When I see people ganging up on me because of heteronormity, I started busting the guns. But I'm like, they sitting here disrespecting me, so it's going to be like that for the rest of my life. These people are going to disrespect me for the rest of my life. Every person that I grew up around pretty much was having sex at an early age. That's why we can't. That's why I can't value myself or anybody else because you lose. You lose. You know what I'm saying? Respect. I don't respect sexuality. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to a man having sex with me, I'm like the situation was not a good one. You know what I'm saying? I can't respect that shit. I got people that sit here trying to call me a faggot, call me gay. I wasn't even claiming no label. Motherfuckers really want to, if you are a woman and you're not with a man, they want to use it against you. Let's trigger her emotionally. Okay, so she's not a homophobic person. I do take offense to the shit, but I'm like, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Women have a stigma on the way we are, the way we act. I sit here and analyze a male and female body. It's a paradigm you form. You can either teach a child to view a woman as feminine or not. I don't give a fuck how many six-pack abs you got and all that. It doesn't matter. That's why I keep trying to tell people. I'm not trying to be no butch. I don't want to be a woman in shape. I want to be a man in shape. It's a different. So what I got to do is learn how to work with men. Let's say I go on the road truck driving with a male, and he has to use, you know what I'm saying? You may be put in a situation where he may feel like, I'm like, I don't think I will resort to being a prostitute if I was in a situation to get. Like if somebody... I, I drove down the road with somebody and I had to survive. I would just start walking. But sometimes you got to think it is situations that's like that. Well, motherfucker be like, man, shit, if I was stuck on the road somewhere, I would just sell my pussy and move on about my day. That is not the first choice that I would think of. That would be the last thing. I would just survive, try to start a fire or something and just, you know what I'm saying? If you let somebody know where you're going, they'll come, they can come find your ass. And I'm pretty sure there's a highway system in the air and stuff. I'm like, I want to learn how to uh, fly an airplane and stuff. But that's why I got all these people in my family to set up in my life. that hated on me. All these men I had sex with me just to sit there and create an identity that I'm a weak person because of that fact. 
in essence. Now, you can say, well, you a bitter black woman. You an unhappy soul. You doing all this shit to me for no apparent reason. And I don't blame them from an intellectual level to have an advantage over me, but it really don't matter. I see all these women and shit. They sitting here, you know, doing all this exercising and becoming butch and shit. That ain't something that I give a fuck about. I don't care about wearing heels or none of that shit. It's not normal. I got all these people that have formulated all these opinions about me. It really ain't true. And I had all this shit happen to me for no apparent reason. And people are sitting here want to use my womanhood against me. It doesn't make sense. So for anybody that's dealt with dysfunction and have been introduced to sexuality at an early age and people really want to make fun of it, you know what I'm saying? Really just, it's understandable. Sorry about, you know, I would be one of those people that will sympathize. Because you can't change the nature of your life, the way people, you know what I'm saying, treat you. And you grow up in a neighborhood and everybody just want to have sex with you. Ain't nothing you can do about it. I wouldn't view nobody as a weak person. You had no control over the situation. You just have to be careful. That's all. So there may be some barriers. You got to think from an intellectual standpoint. Are women weak just because a man having sex with them? No, they're not. I mean, they're clearly truck drivers and everything. I mean, there is a in effect, but you know what I'm saying? Somebody will understand. That's why it's intellectual capacity. I don't blame some of these men for hating on women like that because in essence, that's exactly what they were doing when they were sitting there trying to create, you know, this whole concept of submission and be like, well, shit, I'm going to get older and I'm going to out now make a woman fall in love with me. And you know what I'm saying? And, you know, it just depends on your intentions. But a lot of a lot of these men, uh, our intentions were not to, you know, stick their penis in a woman to create a submissive mentality. A lot of these men were doing it, to, you know, to pray on a woman's downfall. You just have to figure it out. <laughs> and that's all I got to say about that.